Wow, you beat me soundly. You're very strong. And you were as skilled as I expected. Very powerful, too. I wonder if I could be like you. If I grew up on the plains, I mean. <laughs> Perhaps. I learned to fight out here. But I learned more when I met Elliewood and Hector. We traveled long and far together. Sometimes we compete with one another, just like this. They helped me to learn of justice and courage. And they gave me the strength to trust others. And that strength has made me who I am today. When I woke, I had no memories and no one I felt I could rely on. But now I have so many friends around me to teach me about the world and about myself. I hope that at the end of my journey, I'll be as strong as them. And you. You'll definitely become much stronger. I'm sure of it. Of course, I'll help too. Thank you, Lynn. Max Bond level unlocked. Neat! That's handy. I would love to save. Oh boy, what a map. My goodness gracious, the maps in this game. Yeah, this game's gonna take me a good while. You know, it's not gonna be like, you know, three houses level of taking a while just because of like the calendar and the academy stuff all the time. But taking a while is in. You know, there's a decent amount of story maps. There's about an average amount of story maps for a, for a Fire Emblem game. But plus, there's all the paralogs, and we're doing things in the Somniel, and I have no doubt it's going to be an over 100 part series. And a lot of these parts being like, you know, one to two hours when I'm facing certain maps. Whoops. Well done. Even showing that I first thought, I best get to training if I'm to be a match for you. Well, I mean, that was a pretty difficult paralog. <laughs> Did you happen to notice the extra effort I put in there? It was all for you, Divine One. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I uh, I really rely on you. Yes. This place would be quite ordinary if not for your presence in it, Divine One. Hi, I can promote you. Yeah. Better keep an eye on me, Divine One. I'm getting more powerful by the second. The whole reason I did this map at this point is because I figured all my uh, characters that were at like level 19, I could get up to level 20 and get ready to pop for promotion. <laughs> Only even got Hortensia up there. A <laughs> scenery could have leapt from a book. What kind? And <laughs> now that would be telling. So, you know. Yes. Well, I'm so dang close to for so many of them. I think I may have been useful in that battle. Should I praise myself? I suppose I can try. I might just be able to use the arena to get you up there. So hopefully after the next battle, we'll have all our main dudos ready for promotion and stuff, and then we can uh, maybe do Hector's map again? I don't know. La Force, the strength card. Seems I'm more powerful now. Fine one, use me well. Will do. Yeah, you're handy to have around. Sure. Yeah, come on into the Somniel and stuff. Adopted. Okay, what have we over here, huh? What have we this away? Eggs times two. Yep. I took the liberty of scouting our perimeter for ambushes, divine one. We're good to go. Well, thanks. Sorry. Sorry for making things harder than they need to be. I've got to work out more. Yeah, that's clearly the solution here. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if my family's been here. Wish I could see them again. Maybe you will one day here. Yeah. Adopt all the critters as we go by. Adopted. Okay, there's no way to get across over here. Sucks. That means I gotta loop all the way around, it seems like. Gotta bring it around town. I talked to everyone over here? I think so. Except for... No, I've, uh... Yeah, because I start over here. Hmm, I bet with a bit of work we could turn that spot over there into a good training ground. Maybe. Let us proceed. I suppose I will search for inspiration for my pursuits while you finish up here. It's taken me until now to realize that the tone that I've given him is basically like the uh, Hubert tone. <laughs> you know. Hey, come on, Divine One. I'm ready to fight by your side. Do my best. Let me join in, please. If I had more army space, each map. Hmm. What flavor might the tea have if I were to drink it here? Uh, part of my frivolous musings. Oh, I can't go inside these thinger bobs. But yeah, I recognize these. You know, this is the uh, first level of Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. Like, Lynn finds it here. You're the tactician. Mark is his uh, default name. And she's like, what the heck? Who are you? You need help? Yada yada. I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time since I played it. 
Which, again, we might play it in the near future, but I want to get a little bit of a better foothold on other things first, and then come to a decision. I wonder what kind of crops they grow here. I have to buy one house, just patrolling the area. <sighs> I saw something interesting off in the distance. Gonna go check it out. Until we leave. Hmm. Can't recall ever visiting a place like this. So why does it make me feel homesick? Nostalgia for Fire Emblem wow. Blazing Sword. I actually like this place. Has a good vibe. If we hung around, we'd make some fun memories. Yeah, maybe. Yes. Picked up a pebble here. I might keep it. Just it's just a tiny rock. But I felt I had a story to tell. Okay, Frederick. I wonder. My attacks may have caused a bit of damage. Who owns this land? Should offer an apology. The Nintendo ninjas own this land, and they're gonna charge you uh the expansion pass price to come here. My favorite food? I honestly I'm not entirely sure. I have a couple of favorites there. At face value, my favorite might just have to be something like pierogies. They're Sorry. real good. I can't believe how many enemy hits I took. So I make you worry, divine one. You're my tank. You're my wall. You gotta take enemy hits because I don't have a whole lot of other units that can do that and live. You know? <laughs> is the case. So you're pretty good at that. I'm very glad about that. Alright. I think I've done all the things around here, so now we can skedaddle on out. Check out the world map first and foremost. There wouldn't be any new paralogs available. Might be new skirmishes. I don't know if I'm gonna do any of them. Phantom Wyvern. I hate those things. They're awful. Yeah, this uh, was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. So, let's go to the Somnia. See what we have going on here. Because, my goodness gracious. <laughs> I appreciate that there. Yeah, this, uh, that last map was pretty brutal. I got through it. Luckily, I didn't even need to use, you know, crazy things like obstruct or freeze staff. Yeah, it was freeze staffs, not obstruct staffs. Like, I did in the Lucina paralogue. Like, I didn't do it that, that early. But, you know, it still gave me a decent bit of difficulty. Didn't have to use much in the way of crazy Let's consumables see. there. Ring returns to the ring chamber. Yeah, that whole thing were Bob there. I don't think there'd be anything new around here. Tower Trials, new map. I'm actually going to go to the arena first and foremost. Is what I'm going to do. And check out if Alcrest is, like, 30 EXP away from his thing were Bob. Because then we could get another promotion. Could be pretty cool. So yeah, yeah, you're getting close there. I mean, we were all getting close. We were all at like level 19. But, you know, I had to rely on my already promoted units so much during that. Yeah, you almost certainly will be able to uh, do the thing, Bob, right? And yeah, you're right to promote. So all Christ. I wish I could see exactly how much experience he had there. It's me, the Brodian prince who isn't Piemont. <laughs> I'm Lady Anna, the mysterious merchant. <laughs> Well, wow, that was a that was point blank arrow I've ever seen. Incredible. Such oh, because he's still equipped to the longbow. <laughs> okay, yeah, he was just like a hair away. All right, sweet. I'll take it. I will take that. All right, next up. So the next one is for sure gonna like top us up, right? So maybe I should do mine rather than diamond because uh. You know, my unit's a little bit farther away. Yeah, that's probably the strat. So let's go with my unit twice. That's what let's we can do. A good match. That's we'll what we can do together. here. Oh, hi, Byleth. I have a lot of hours in your video game. Wow. The divine pulse. So dang mean. Okay, sweet. I'll take the free bond up as well. Yeah, do it again. One more time. I'll be your opponent. Ivy. Hi. Princess of Illusion. Who wins here? Ow. Well, dang. Ouch. Alright, yeah, little smidges of experience. Sport up. Sweet. Praise Ivy. Let's see here. Oh, while we're traveling around, should we get the silly wake up event thing? And then we'll go explore around. Because, yeah, you can only get one of those each time you go through, so we may as well do the thing where Bob get that and stuff. All right, let's see here. Let's go to sleep, and then we're going get to a, get a scene where someone's waking me up and stuff. Sounds like someone's coming in. It's loading. And it's stuff divine, there. Divine hello, hello, amazing spaghetti. No, I'm not Hope the things are going well today. To I'm not exactly upbeat. You just beat me in uh, the sparring the there. Awake, Ow. The sooner this will be over, 
off. My microphone picked up that crack. <laughs> ah, let me adjust my microphone. Morning. Hi. Good weather today. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I mean, it's pretty cold out here today. It was really beautiful yesterday. Now it's minus 18. It's not super great. <laughs> All right. Well, another scene unlocked. Thingamabob there. All right. Now, I don't think there's any other Thingamabobs apart from the Somniel in general that I need to uh, I need to go out and do. <laughs> so we'll just go out here. We can do some promotions and stuff. Will be schnice. Will be quite neato. Again, I could promote my other units a little bit early. I just feel kind of bad about it, you know? I'm not optimizing it then. In that case, too. Yeah, let's see here. Whoops. Wrong thing, Rebob, there. So, yeah, it is inventory. That's the case. Um, so, all Chris here is going to become not sniper. So yeah, Tiro de Elite, that unlocks Luna at level 5. While making an attack, may ignore half of foe's defense slash res. Is pretty neat, and I guess he unlocked Axe from uh, Edelgard there, which gives him access to those thingamabobs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy some more Master Seals here soon. Here, I'll even turn my camera for it. Look at this! He's gonna become like a super crazy archer and stuff. Wow, he's got a cape now. Amazing. Sweet, more stats. And more movement. No, <laughs> don't say that about yourself, man. There we go. Sweet. Can do warrior if he wants to, but uh, yeah. So we can go up to S with bows, and I should probably really quickly. So yeah, Fogato gets swords and bows. All Chris is just bows, but he can max out with that stuff. Then. I also needed to promote you, and I should go buy some more Master Seals. So your exclusive thing, Bob, is Sleipnir Rider, with the exclusive skill World Tree. When you use the staff, may not consume a use. Yeah, I guess that makes you my dedicated staff user. So, well, I guess in case I use it for a thumbnail. Me. So yeah, we have both of our magic, like, winged flying units and stuff. Except Ivy is more focused on magical attacks, whereas Hortensia is more focused on, like, support stabs and stuff like that. This is the way it is with those two stuff. Alright, we're getting some more promoted units out here. Okay. And then I think I had... I think Fogato had Lin. I think it was the case, so sure, there you go. Sure, let's just do that. And that a case, cool! So more promotions have been had. Cool. Hi. Yeah. Well, I'm here, the more I like the Somnia. Of course, the more we talk, the more I like you. Yeah, before you eventually stab me in the back in the DLC story coming out later this year. I'm sure, like, I'm sure it's not going to be exclusive to Fogato. I'm sure it's going to turn out to be, like, all the lords that you go up against or something like that. It'd be really weird if it was just Fogato. But still, still going to hold that against you, man. <laughs> That's the case. All right, let's see here. Get all these Thingamabobs. Yoink. Look at all the things and stuff. Oh I've collected yet another ring. So too, is this a show of the Divine Dragon's power? What's my favorite video game? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Which is rumored that this upcoming Monday might potentially be getting a remake announced. There has been a- there's been one Pokemon Mystery Dungeon title on the Switch being Red Rescue Team- or Rescue Team DX, which is a remake of the first game. My favorite is the second game in that series. And, uh, it turns out that on, uh, Pokemon's website on the Pokemon Day website with Pokemon Day being February 27th um, If you check like the source code for the site, there's copyright for Spike Chunsoft the company that makes Pokemon Mystery Dungeon um, For 2023. So it's like oh Are they gonna announce something in the upcoming Pokemon Direct this coming Monday of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon related? So most likely considering they already remade the first game It'll either be a remake of the second game my favorite or It'll, uh, it'll be a brand new original Mystery Dungeon game. I'm cool either way. I'd love to see both. Both would be neat. I'm just gonna use the amiibo tags in this bag. Yeah, I don't feel like standing up. <laughs> also, now that I have a 3D printer in that corner, I'm thinking, wow, it'd be easier if I did it with the other hand so it doesn't block it. Now that I have a 3D printer in that corner, I might 3D print myself, like, some super basic amiibo thing or bob so I can stick these little stickers <laughs> onto them. And then it's like a real amiibo, you know? 
is the case. But yeah, so there might potentially be some exciting news with my favorite game of all time here in the near future. I don't want to get my hopes up. You know, it is possible that they just don't announce anything Mystery Dungeon related at this upcoming Direct. I'm sure that they're going to announce, like, you know, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, which for me is like, eh, gross. I don't care about that. But Pokemon Mystery Dungeon news? I'm all about that. So, there's that. So, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky is my, uh, my personal favorite game. In terms of, you know, the most personal impact on me. If I had to choose my favorite game of all time in terms of, like, the overall quality, and I can, you know, acknowledge this is a better game than Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, I would probably say Xenoblade Chronicles. The first one, though the second one's pretty close. I mean, my top five, or my top four favorite games, at least, in no particular order, is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2. I don't know what 5 would be, is the case. But I really like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I really like Xenoblade, <laughs> is the case. But yeah, DLC's gonna suck either way, so PMD all the way. PMD all the way, let's go. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my favorite games. There. Let's do some fishing. I like Fire Emblem oh. games. Those are up there, but I don't know what if I had to count them amongst, like, you know, favorite games of all time. I There's so many things I love about every Fire Emblem game I've played, and so many things that I don't like about each one. No. I've yet to ever play one that I feel like, wow, that game is, like, amazing in every way. There's always issues that I have with them. I'll see what I think about this game by the time that I get to the end of it. We shall see. A stunning performance. Sint Trout. I'm impressed. Wow, he's impressed. Minced fish, which is minced it immediately. When do I get more than the modest rod? I guess I really need to progress in the story to uh, get more rods and stuff. You know, that's the case. Wow. Immediately again. Mash that A button. Give me the fish. I need it for science. By science, I mean munching and bond fragments. Nicely done. Okay. Bond fragments obtained, mince fish. But yeah, because this video game is going to take me a while anyway, is it really a big deal if I start Blazing Sword in the near future and just acknowledge we do them side by side and uh, Blazing Sword and Engage are going to take me a while together? I don't know. Again, I think my whole stance on that is going to be, let's get more on top of some other video games and stuff. And then after this reading week with, you know, these three new games coming out. I'll come to a, uh, I'll come to a decision after that, but things are, oh my goodness. I suppose fishing In terms of the schedule around the channel, this is probably come one of the see. most stressful times in terms of everything I'm balancing, um, in my five years of content creation, because my goodness, it's crazy. But yeah, the other people would mind, depends on what you can do with your schedule, yeah. Hopefully so, and you know. Other, it's probably not just me that likes Blazing Sword, right? I'm sure if I cover Blazing Sword on the channel that people will be like, Oh, Blazing Sword, that's cool, right? I hope. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not the only diehard Blazing Sword fan around here. But yeah, <laughs> nice mustache wish you had one like that. I appreciate it. Been growing it out the sides to potentially be able to curl it a little bit and stuff. Is that? Oh, I thought that there was a little bit of my camera over here that was like showing this monitor and it was like grass or something. But no, that's just the game behind. Here's the camping, not to mention camping with some wild folks, so don't worry about me. It's not that brutal of camping, you know. There's a castle right there. Hi. Work so hard every day and still make time to visit. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> I don't know if I can make time to visit in Fire Emblem Fates. <laughs> what if we actually just went unhinged? What if we played Fire Emblem Engage alongside Fire Emblem Blazing Sword, alongside Fire Emblem Fates Conquest? Oh. <laughs> just slowly no. go through all three. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'd do that, but uh, I've grown too used to this place. More comfortable living as would a worm or beetle. Yeah, just gonna constantly remind me that I need to do that route. Whoa. Sing around fire with friends, talk about our hopes and dreams, love these moments. If only you could do it on the field of hopes and dreams. Alright, give me that spirit gem. Let's run over this way. Let's do a loop-de-loop -loop and pull, and your shoes are looking cool as we go this away. Gotta make the most use out of every Somniel visit with how freaking insanely difficult these maps get. And stuff, you know. Bond fragments. Alright, feed, and what do I have a whole bunch of? I have a whole bunch of wheat flour, take that. Pretend we're playing Fire Emblem Echoes out here. Feed you raw flour. There you go. 
And <laughs> we got some bond fragments. <laughs> there we go. 100 bond fragments obtained. And I think we just need to pet once and then we can press B and we get bond fragments. I think? Maybe? Is that how it works? So I press B. Sweet. Fun fact, you can't buy the Echoes DLC because of the eShop. Uh, because of that getting shut down. What a world we live in. Now we need to find a ROM with the DLC. That's not actually how it works. The, uh, the DLC counts as a separate thing. You take the, uh, there's basically like a ROM for the game itself. Typically either like a CIA file that you can install or a .3DS file that you just like open up. Whereas the DLC is a thing where Bob that is usually its own CIA file that you like install onto that thing where Bob there. It has like its own folder. It doesn't install onto the ROM itself. There's like a separate folder within Citra, if that's the thing being used where DLC is stored that it loads it from, that I've had to do a decent bit of tinkering around when I tried to get like the Japan exclusive Fates DLC working for the Fates playthrough. Uh, almost successfully, almost not quite. Only have to worry about for sure figuring out once we do the playthrough of Revelations, and that won't be for a while anyway, so whatever. Um, which, with a custom firmware 3DS like I have, you can dump like the game itself, you can dump the cartridge, onto like the SD card and then you know do whatever you want with it and you can do the same with the DLC you can dump the DLC that's a uh thing or bob that I've had to do for you know my uh my playthroughs around here it's what I did for Fates for example um and the whole situation with like the Japan exclusive DLC is weird <laughs> set aside some time to think only well, now that I am here I don't know what I will think about like I've gotten the Japan exclusive DLC working in my English version of the game just I wasn't able to get the translation patch working and I was only able to get it working if it like disabled the other half of my DLC in there it's weird so I don't completely understand how I go about it but you know again it's the kind of thing that I'd only worry about doing for like the revelations ultimate save file thing where Bob there at the end rather than showcasing like these specific DLC maps into every single playthrough like it's not that important so let me guess, you're here for strength training, I can see the drive in your eyes. Very nice. Yeah, and I think I might boost strength do? then. Because yeah, that's the most useful go? thing here, you know? Definitely the most useful thing. My unit did not do a whole lot of battling that last map. Was not the case. But uh, maybe on the next one Looking she good. will? Maybe? We shall Perfect. see. Perfect. So it might be handy to have, you know. Might be handy to have there, but I wonder. Do I just do, like, the next story map from here? Do I do another emblem paralogue? Because, like, I got through it, but they're hard. And I think Linz was the last one that recommends, like, a base level class rather than a promotion thing or buff. So I don't think I can do Hector's or Sorn's right now. Or Byless, I think, is the other one available there for paralogue. I actually wonder if I should just do, like, the next story chapter next. Keep it up. Maybe, maybe. And then that should nice. be able to finish off my squad that's, like, on the verge of promotion. Keep it up. But yeah, I already promoted Alchrist and Hortensia. Nice. I already promoted them both. Keep it up. So they are in promoted classes now. And stuff. There we Good go. I'm so get, proud. get strength plus two in the next battle. There we go. Got a bunch of bond fragments as well. Let's do this again sometime. Yeah, we do it between every battle. Is kind of the case. Hi. Greetings. Honored to be here. This experience will no doubt inform both my dance and fortune telling. By left realistically, when I was a professor, I was always, always finding lost items. Now I watch for them as a habit. By left realistically, would be better on someone else so that you could, in theory, do goddess dance with one unit and dance with your actual dancer unit. But for now, I'm just kind of keeping Byleth on Seedal because of, like, because he's a dancer, he's going to be spending a lot of time around other units. And Byleth's thing or Bob is, like, gives 1.2 times experience not only to him, but all other adjacent allies. So it's the thing where Bob that the Rivals emblem gives, but better, essentially. So, you know, that's kind of the reason why I have Byleth on him for now. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I will if there's someone that I need to build up supports with and stuff. Okay, yeah, we've seen these lines before. <laughs> Just big chillin'. And you're big chillin' over here as well. It's fine, keep a close watch to make sure no one's struggling in the water. 
I mean, it's not like it's particularly deep or anything like that, but uh, but still good to be doing that, I suppose. Um, let's see here. I don't think that there'd be any bond thing for Bobs right now. Yeah, there isn't. There's a few support conversations that we have, though. Well, hello, Princess Saline. You're looking gorgeous as ever. Thank you, Prince Bogato. So, what do you say? Want to have that cup of tea? It's time we got to know each other. Hmm. Is that wise? Oh, come on. You're still mulling it over? I guess you can't help being closed off. You are feeling ease, after all. As I said, we have a distaste for risk. Yeah, but it's not just that. Oh? What else? Firenay's farming industry is so robust, you don't need to keep reserves, let alone import goods. And that's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. But self-sufficiency has made you folks a bit unsociable, if you ask me. Your gates are shut so tight, they might as well be walls. Interesting. When put that way, they do seem a bit isolated, don't we? Very well. I accept your invitation. I'll prove to you that the Firenese people are in no way walled off. Rather, the generosity fostered by our pastoral ways makes us exceptionally accommodating. <laughs> Good for you, Princess Saline. Taking it upon yourself to prove Firene isn't a hermit kingdom. I respect that. It's also a chance for me to gain a glimpse of the secret to your prosperity. Such as the way you curry favor with foreign nobility to pry information out of them? I won't deny it. As a prince, I occasionally have no choice but to mix business and pleasure. But no ulterior motives today, I promise. Just tea and friendly conversation. That would be lovely. I look forward to it, Prince of Soul. Well, he's pretty sly, isn't he? Alright, there we go. I'll reach B, and then these two. Uh, Prince Fogato! Hey, hey! What's going on, Prince Alquis? Why are you running away from me? I apologize. You're always in such high spirits. I feared my presence might dampen your mood. Yeesh. I think you're being a little hard on yourself. Besides, we actually have a lot in common. You're the second prince of a kingdom. I'm the first prince of a queendom. Tomato, Fogato. I suppose you're right. <sighs> um, why the sigh? We do hold similar positions. But if that is the case, why are we so different? You're so carefree and sociable. And I'm a dismal burden on everyone I meet. There you go again. Always so negative. Not that I mind your dour attitude. It's actually one of the reasons I like you. You find me likable? But that's impossible. I don't deserve such kindness. Oh, this is bad. If you continue, I may find myself in a dangerous spot. Oh, what's so dangerous about me? That! Your gentle eyes and accepting smile? Please, don't look at me. Your pure heart is shining a spotlight on me. You'll reveal me for the waste that I am. I... I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> man. That guy really knows how to make an exit. Why is he dangerous? Because he's going to betray us in the DLC is why. How many bond fragments do I have there? Okay. Neat. All right. Let's see here. Whose bond were we working up to? Yeah, sure. That. So let's see here. So, in theory, they would have another support conversation what? available now. Yep. And then we do that support conversation. And then we do the other two. And then they have the last support conversation available. And then these two are at eight. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He already, uh, he already knows. It's like Shulky's glimpse into the future. Yeah, so every two battles, we can max out people from, like, nothing to A. Essentially. So, yeah, let's be doing that with units that we're not really using, <laughs> you know? Hey, Amber. I'm still a few chapters short. May I ask you some more questions? Hang on, Jade. First, I have a request for you. Please, please don't write about how I completely failed to catch that alpaca. What? My hometown is known for its alpaca expertise. I can't throw that kind of shame on them. I was so bogged down by emotions in pond water that I failed to ask before. So, please? This comes as a bit of a shock. I won't make you a promise that I can't keep, Amber. You've inspired my funniest, most successful works. People are excited for the next one. Okay, then. Let's spar. If I win, you can't write anything about the alpaca puddle incident. 
Fine by me. You're on. This will be our first sparring match since the tourney to select Prince Diamond's retainers. That was also the first time I lost to you. I have been stuck in second place ever since. That loss was like a curse. No matter what I do, I can't seem to beat you at anything. Well, you did enter the final round of that tournament at a disadvantage. You didn't have any time to warm up. You were too busy trying to help that lost child. That's no excuse. You ended up helping too. You even found the kid's parents first. Hmm, I take your point. You're the one who's always finding success, and I'm the one who's always tripping up. That runaway alpaca was the last straw. My second place streak ends today. Get ready, Jade. There's no way I'm losing to you again. <sighs> Had enough? Oh, I just can't do it. I really can't beat you, Jade. It's... it's hopeless. You remember our terms? I won, so I'm free to put whatever I want in my next novel. Yeah, I remember. You beat me fair and square, so write about whatever you want. That's just what I'm going to do. But I'll make sure you're the first to read it when I'm done. And there's gonna be some sort of way she twists it that makes him actually happy? I would imagine. Okay, so. Now, we do that. I guess, you know, I could probably just do skip to results. So I can do support increased. And then we do this. And then if I say skip to results, does that unlock a new conversation? Or... Hold on. Nope. Okay. So it takes a little bit more effort for A at the very end. Okay. Now, then, let's see here. Let's just see here. I'll go over here, chat to people we haven't chatted with. Hi. Yep. Someone else the least lonely place I've ever been. I want to show it to my family someday. Maybe you will. <laughs> Not this place will be all pillars and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Stuff that we've seen before. Hey. Like it always feels like something's funny. Is it just about to happen? Well, maybe we'll make a really awful meal. Maybe that'll be what happens funny. What is next for my country for the world? So much to contemplate. Scoozy. Dang. Thought they even let someone like me in the Holy Land. Now it's kind of like I live here. Yeah, I guess so. What do we want? Um, who do I not have a whole lot of support with yet? I'll get support with Doll as the dancer in, like, no time. I have no doubt about that. But probably maybe units I'm not using as much. You know? So I might handle it just like the, uh, just like the activities in that sense. Because I'll be building it up with the, uh, the other dudos anyway. That's the case. So you can support with Bucheron there. Or Amber here. Yeah, sure. Um, defense res speed. Sure. That! Yeah. Put some, uh, extra of that in there. Sure, I don't know. Start cooking. I'm gonna go all out. Do the thing, okay. Bob. Ha. Let's have a, let's have a meal here. And what's it going oh, to be? Disaster. Oh. This is awful. Well. <laughs> the, my poison. We're done for. It's so weird how, like, the first half of it is voiced. Gee, all units gain no effects. I can't just redo it, can I? Dang. Well, hopefully that doesn't screw me for the next battle. Uh, <laughs> huh. Okay, I don't think there's anything I missed around here, right? So, back to the map. So, in terms of what map we can do here, we can do either... You know, another one of the DLC paralogs there, which I don't think I'm going to be ready for until I promote more of my units. Or, we can do one of the main game kind of paralogs here, which I also don't think I'm quite ready for. That Lin one was recommended, you know, base class level 19. This is suggested advanced class level 7. Like, yeah, as if. As if I can do that at this point. Advanced class level 3. Yeah, I'm a smidge sketched out. I'm going to want advanced class before I... You know, retake on Hector's thing, Bob. There's a sacred tomb there. Um, so I think the play is probably next story chapter, and then, you know, get the rest of our main units promoted, and then we're gonna be a whole lot stronger and stuff. I think yeah, this is just advanced class level one, but we're really darn close. So we have like half our army promoted anyway. While planning their next move after getting a new ring, the Divine Dragon's army receives a report. Okay. Let's give it a go and hope for the best, I guess. 